Hello and welcome. Today is October 23rd, 2023, and I'm here to do our weekly check-in. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. So guys, so I will get right to it. So as you can see, um, I have my lovely teas here. Um, I actually redesigned the packaging. So um, I have so many teas available, guys. So if you're interested, you can check it out over on Etsy. You can uh, actually get 25% off, uh, no coupon necessary. Or you can go to my website, foxyteas.com, and get 20% off and uh, use the coupon code FOXYTEAS. Um, and so um, just to kind of uh, briefly go over the different type of teas that I have, I have holiday teas that are in, and um, I have apple pie, which is this uh, lovely one right here. Also, I have white winter chai, dark chocolate peppermint tea. This is white coconut cream. Pumpkin spice chai. Green pomegranate. And also French lemon ginger. And I have more guys. So um, yeah, if you've tried my tea before in the past, uh, I have definitely added some new uh, variety uh, to my shop. And um, yeah, so that is what's new. And also I do have some lovely um, gift boxes um, or gift sets um, that you guys could look forward to in the future. So whenever I have that ready, I will definitely share with the collective. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. And so for this week, I really do feel that uh, the collective masculines are going through some sort of change. Um, I'm really feeling that they're assessing, not really taking action, but I definitely feel that they do have divine feminine on their mind. Um, also, um, they have been thinking of those times when they were dating you. Okay. Um, that's what I was getting from spirit and, um, they kind of wonder how you've been, what you've been up to and things like that. Um, is masculine really ready for, uh, I guess like a get together or, you know, um, or wanting to push things to the next level, I really am not feeling it, okay? So let's go ahead and see from the Oracle deck uh, what messages come through. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to Divine Masculine Collective? What is the energy of Divine Masculine? Okay, we have an official person that came up in reverse. We have family room. Okay, so for this week, it's all about the home. Okay, there's no change. Okay, from what I can see. And um, what I'm hearing is that even though that they're in the home and they're sitting uh, there with their family, it's like an empty shell. Do you see that, you know, they have a very prominent home, um, you know, the uh, interior of this family room looks very pristine, right? It looks perfect. 
Um, however, I feel that since um, the masculine is kind of like um, portraying that things are okay, it's as if, you know, they're sitting in the karmic's house, you know, it's probably masculine's house, whatever. But whatever the situation ship is, uh, it's almost as if they're kind of comfortable. I wouldn't say settle, okay? Maybe for some, yes, it, they're settling. But I feel that this isn't permanent. There's always room for change. But however, they're not changing this week, okay? Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Perhaps, you know, um, they received like additional income or windfall of money. Um, and so for them to receive this, um, they're kind of sitting on it before they can make moves. So let me go ahead and get some clarification. Spirit, can you please clarify this official person? Okay, we have twin flames, so they are not with the twin, or they haven't made it official with the twin. Also, look, we have family issues and summer. Perhaps, you know, they can't really be with the feminine because they still have family issues. Um, for some, you spent time with the masculines more so in the summer months where things were passionate, but if it wasn't like a physical thing, um, this has been an ongoing thing with the masculines, uh, since the summer months and we're here in the winter and fall months here in the United States and still masculines are not really with the feminine. Okay. Uh, spirit, can you tell me more about this family room? Can you tell me more about the family? Okay. So they have to be brave and courageous dealing with the family. You know, right here, they are not humbled by what they're doing because they are people pleasing. So again, you know, I was trying to defend the masculines, but Let's just say that they're settling. Okay. Yes, they're people pleasing. You know, why? Because they have this beautiful home. You know, why mess things up? You know, when um, things are just okay, right? Um, Spirit, can you tell me more about this house? Okay. So they're on the fence about making a confession or communicating. What is the message, Spirit? Okay, that maybe their career and finances are um, probably on the line, or maybe they want to change because I see that there is no change. There's some money that's coming through. Um, okay, so they're working on their inner child. So perhaps, you know, masculines are working more on themselves. So... It's kind of like a work in progress, right? You know, if you've been with me on this channel for, for a long time, then you understand the concept of healing uh, like yourself um, due to like childhood upbringing. Um, this is like childhood wounding. Uh, it could be the reasons why some of these masculines are acting very childish, even in their adult life. Um, also this could be about children. Okay. Um, maybe for some, they have grown children that are still living with them, um, because of the economy, right. Or because of whatever circumstance, like people aren't hiring, or, um, maybe there's just a lot of, uh, changes in, um, I guess in the, uh, uh, workplace. Okay. Um, that's what I'm feeling. So masculines are really good in whatever home or environment that they're in. They're painting this picture like their life is okay, but they're not happy. They haven't been with the feminine. Okay. And if they have not so much these days, right? Um, it's hard for them to change because there's security and whatever this home life is. 
okay and they want to keep this visage so again nothing new to my um og twins okay um i'm still seeing this message that's coming through so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the tarot yeah you know i saw here forgiveness uh in the bottom of the deck and so perhaps masculines they haven't really forgiven themselves uh for everything right like not only to themselves to the twin but also the karmic maybe also the children so spirit can you tell me more about the energies of masculine towards feminine what is the energy please spirit and i hope that you guys can hear me pretty well because the microphone is a little bit at a distance i have this light situation hold on maybe that's gonna work okay Spirit, can you tell me more about the energies of Divine Masculine Collective towards the feminine? And if the karmic energy wants to show up, please reveal karmic energy. What is the energy surrounding the Masculine Collective for the Twin Flames for this week? Thank you, Spirit. And if the feminine energy wants to come through, please reveal feminine energy. Thank you. Okay, so, wow, okay. So, as you can see, masculines, um, they're not feeling very good about themselves. They're really disappointed, as a matter of fact, and um, things are not progressing as fast as they want things to be. Uh, also, you know, that could be a reason why that masculines, you know, there's no change uh, in their physical life. Um, because they don't feel successful. We saw that the official person came up in reverse. Maybe it, it's, you know, their employment status. You know, maybe they're not pulling enough income. Maybe they actually, um, you know, received uh, enough, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, income. But, you know, they need to hold on to it, you know, because, they're not sure what to do, okay? Uh, I definitely do feel like if your divine counterpart is in some sort of marriage or relationship, they're just staying in whatever environment that they're in and, um, you know, just doing a little bit of people-pleasing, doing, you know, just bare minimum because at the end of the day, they're just tired, okay? They don't even have the energy to go above and beyond is what i'm hearing i also see here that he priestess so they're definitely having this telepathic conversation or communication with the feminine um you know i i have a feeling like these masculines um they are definitely tapped into their intuition and they are looking okay to see how they can change. Now I see here repeating negative patterns. This could be about like, you know, something to do with their inner child. Um, whatever this is, they are resisting. Okay. So let's just say they're not talking to you. Okay. And they're with the karmic and they're, they're not happy with their life. I really feel like they're in a lot of resistance because there's just so much is going on in the masculine's world. They just don't know what to do. I really feel like masculines are a little bit all over the place. Um, even if like they're financially successful or maybe they're financially strapped, it doesn't matter like what their uh, sense of stability is. It's something more. It's something deeper. Okay. So I also see if there is a karmic person, that person is very jealous of the masculine. So they could be going through some sort of fighting or arguments. Okay. It, uh, the karmic is actually causing trouble for the masculine to even progress and move forward or move beyond 
uh, this argument or situation that they have, possibly because they share the same home. Like, honestly, feminine, if you've been questioning, especially if they're in some sort of relationship or marriage with someone else, they're not happy this week. I definitely am seeing that. And again, towards their friends and family, they're in portrayal. They're pretending that their life is okay, but deep down inside, it's not. And I definitely do see that they're thinking of the feminine, but they're not doing anything about it. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> so they do have a sense of clarity. And they understand that they need to come into alignment with their core values. So this is going back to their roots, right? Again, I called it earlier. They're exhausted. They want to give up. They don't even have the energy to push things forward. They're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and detached and guarded. So let's just say that you're in somewhat talking terms or, you know, you guys were talking so much at one point and not so much these days. I would say, yeah, I see it. They're guarded. They're blocked off. Maybe they don't want to talk anymore. Um, it's because they're kind of like in limbo here. Okay. So they may, uh, you know, be really cold towards you and it's causing, um, them to, I guess, like be open with the feminine, but also they don't know what they want. Okay. Because again, this goes back to lack of success, not like really taking action. Why? Because they're disappointed. They're disappointed in themselves. They're disappointed like with their life in general. And um, what I'm seeing is that they're feeling insecure. They don't even feel like they could be a, a counterpart to the feminine energy. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, if you've been like, you know, uh, like going towards this masculine, it feels smothering. Okay. Okay. I just have to, uh, I feel like I have to say that to someone uh, if you've been in this energy recently. So just take a step back, okay? Give masculine some breathing space and whenever they're ready, they'll be open. So a lot of times, you know, people are afraid, well, if I pull back and, you know, what if they don't contact you know, me again? Well, I would say if they don't care to contact you back after giving them space, then it's not time because it's going to cause further, like, I don't know, feelings of hurt, feelings of resentment, uh, you know, um, just having expectations and that's not what you want. That's not what a loving relationship is when, when you're in a loving relationship, okay, you try to balance things, okay? You try to have like uh, like a happy medium, okay? You always want to work things out. If this person truly loved you, if they're not at that point where they can give in to it, and I see that they're really disappointed with themselves, I would say give them space and time, okay? Because um, look, masculines they want to reciprocate to the feminine energy however there's a karmic who's pissed off at home do you see this guys okay do you see this beautiful gorgeous home in the background clearly uh this masculine um you know they they have something okay they're, i'm not saying you know uh, they're super loaded they could be but i feel that whoever this person is they do okay right and here is the karmic and she is like oh, where are you going how come you're always like gone from the house and probably because you know they used to spend more time with you maybe um you know elsewhere wherever that place may be this could be uh text messaging or whatnot whatever it is okay um they look like they're okay, but they're not. The people who aren't okay are the people that are surrounding the masculine. Okay, friends, family, co-workers. They're, so this is like ego right here. And also, I see that they're really open to take a risk. Okay, for some, maybe you've been receiving some sort of flirtatious uh, texting or messaging or, 
you know, maybe if you've seen them in person, like comments um, about your appearance or, um, or, you know, whatever that they do. But I really feel that maybe they made the rent wrong choice in opening themselves up because I feel that they don't feel good. They're trying to, I guess, like, um, uh, lead the feminines on to like something that may not, you know, um, go where the feminine wants it to be. And I don't think that's okay. Okay. Now that's for some, that's not for all divine masculines. Um, uh, but that, that's what I saw. Okay. Um, the other thing that I'm feeling is that some of these masculines are feeling insulted that they've made a wrong decision to go with the karmic when they could have, you know, chosen the feminine. Okay. Um, so they're trying to work on their priorities and, and really work with their time management this week and really gather the strength. They just don't know what to do. Okay. Um, they're, they're either devoted to the karmic they want to uh, also be with the feminine, okay? Um, but I feel like they left the feminines behind and they were kind of rude about it. And um, yeah, they're healing. This is what I feel. I'm hearing that this is the, the very thing that they're, they saw with their family members or somebody in their past treated them this way. That is why they're acting like this. This is something that masculines need to heal karmically. Okay. Um, so again, if, if you're in the know and you understand masculines patterns or their, their learned behaviors, maybe, you know, something about like their, their past about their parents or about their past relationships. I really feel like there's something negative in that karma that needs to be resolved before they can move forward towards the feminine. Okay. Um, I'm seeing it very clearly. So let's see what else. So masculines, okay, they are thinking of the feminine. So they're thinking, okay, you're you're a boss, okay, you could be a boss lady, boss man. Um, you're always uh, been able to provide, okay. You're always very caring, very generous. They know that they could be happy with you as a family, okay. They want to have reunion with the feminine, okay. They definitely do feel that there's something faded here between the two of you. So how they're feeling this week is that maybe they've cheated, okay? Maybe um, they're afraid of being cheated on. They're just, uh, uh, they're just avoiding um, having any kind of confrontations either on your side or with the karmic. That's why they're kind of neutral. That's why they're not progressing, okay? They're resisting change. This is two times that I'm seeing that masculines they thought about it but they're like oh no you know i'm comfortable in my nice little house okay i'm stuck in this karmic relationship so this is the thing okay if there's any masculines that's watching this the only only person if you feel that you're stuck in a karmic relationship is because you put yourself in that situation you can unstuck yourself nobody said that you had to stay you can totally go. It's your decision, you know? And so the decision is, do you want to stay? And then, uh, you know, keep lying to yourself that you have to stay in this relationship. Again, for some, it takes 10 years to figure it out, maybe 20. Maybe for some, you know, they're they're just too stubborn that they, they just don't, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I have to say to that. <laughs> so... What is going on right now? There's a lot of fear and anxiety going on with the masculines and moving forward of communicating to the feminines or even traveling towards the feminine. So these are for those like if your divine counterpart is at a distance from you, um, you know, they're, they're kind of fearful. They're having anxiety. They don't know what to say. If you haven't seen each other in a long time, they're just afraid. Okay. Um, if you guys are not at a distance, this is about texting the feminines. 
So the actions that masculines will take is that, look, there's always this thing about walking away. So this is, this just shows me that whoever this masculine collective is, they're still working. They're still on this journey. And yeah, in, in the matrix, in the 3D, things are like going at a snail's pace. It's like, can you go a little bit faster, masculine? And I just see that right now they don't care, okay? they rather walk away from everything, twin flame and all. <laughs> they just want to be alone, okay? At least that's how I see the energy this week. Now, what is the challenge? The challenge is how can this masculine move on so that they can have a reunion with the feminine? Again, I'm getting like this three-month deal. So we're at the end of October, November, December. So this is about maybe around like um, the holidays, you know, more towards like New Year's. Like, you know, here's 2023 rolling into 2024. What has masculine accomplished in 2023? You know, and for the most part, I'm hearing it's nothing. They have nothing to show for, nothing to really say that they've achieved in the past year. There is a new year that's coming up. It's not here yet, but they're already thinking about it. Okay. So again, you know, feeling hurt, feeling worried is not going to do you anything. If you're going to keep doing that, like, 300 days of the year. Okay. So if masculines have been feeling down and out, I really feel that, you know, we have like a Taurus, a lunar eclipse coming up at the end of the week. And I really feel like the focus is on their financial situation. Are they feeling stable or not? You know, what do they have? You know, uh, are they um, comfortable or are they going without? Okay, so I feel like it's like an assessment of what, you know, what's actually going on in their 3D. Okay, so in the outcome, I see that they regret that they had missed opportunities to be with the feminine. They keep thinking about the feminine. Again, I really feel like this is for a collective of masculines that could have, should have, but never did, okay? Or they didn't have the balls to do it, okay? Why? Because their home life was good, okay? At least on the outside, you know, of whatever people post on social media, of what they think, like having a beautiful house with the family, with the dog, you know, whatever this is, right? Like, they regret that there was so much out there. So there's a lot of clouds that is going on. This, this cup was offered to the masculine. Masculine turned their back on the feminine when they could have been happy walking on a beach together. Do you see that? You know, I don't know where masculine's walking at. Maybe it's on rocks right now or eggshells but they just want to be alone this week is what i'm saying and you know nothing that the feminines say towards the masculine is gonna help you know and also they're already getting backlash from the karmic they don't need to hear it from the feminine you know i would say you know show compassion to masculines you don't have to do this on a verbal physical level you don't have to send them a text message but you could send them telepathic thoughts and say i know i feel you you know i'm here if if you need you know anything chances are they probably won't reach out and connect they just want to be a hermit from what i can see because i definitely do see that energy here yeah, because they're being totally defensive, maybe a little bit paranoid because they they might show that they're not loyal, okay, towards their karmic or towards the feminine. So it, it's a very sensitive energy this week for the masculines, for the feminine, and also the karmic. I don't feel like this is a time to be pushing anybody's luck, <laughs> 
<laughs> because it could backfire to where you guys won't be hearing from each other. That's how touchy. It's like this, I don't want to say angry energy, but um, like just feeling tired and wanting to walk away from it all. Like not giving an F is what I'm hearing. That's what I have, guys. I mean, I don't know, right? <laughs> Let me see what else. So, Spirit, what messages want to come through from the masculine? What are the messages that they want to say towards the feminine? Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. Yeah, I felt that. You know, they're going back on memory lane. And also, I look at your picture often. So, Feminine, if you've been thinking of this masculine, they are thinking of you. They're actually looking at your pictures. And then also, I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Yeah, we are. We know. We saw that house. We saw the family. You have to keep, like the nuclear family together right um and paint that picture right masculine so also we have songs are speaking to me so they could be hearing some songs on the radio or even like on a playlist as a matter of fact my friend she sent me a song that she recently listened to and it was something that uh reminded her of her dm um, so yeah, you guys might be feeling a little bit touchy this week. Okay. Um, also I just want you to be happy. So I already know the answer to this feminines, you know, you want the same for the masculines, but honestly, you would be happy if you were with the masculine and vice versa. Masculine would be happy if they were with the feminine, but they got some issues, right? But don't we all? <laughs> So also, I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. So this could be through their work, people that they talk to, even like passerbys, you know, they are definitely thinking of the feminines really hard this week. You know, are they going to pick up the phone and contact you? I don't, I don't feel that. For some, yes, you guys are talking to each other, but on a very minimalistic level but they are definitely thinking of the feminine okay very strong also i've thought about reaching out to you but then i stop myself now i feel like that should be the title of this reading i'm gonna keep that out because that's perfect this is exactly what masculines are going through this week they've they've been thinking but they stop themselves so yeah Let's go ahead and see what does the Akashic Records say about this collective for this week. So I hope that that helped for my collective. Um, let me know. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to what the collective needs to know in here. What do we need to know for this collective? What is going to help them in their situation this week? The king of keys and it came up in reverse. Looks like everything's going upside down. <laughs> but let's see. King of Keys. All right. So it says, with this card reversed, you may have some difficulties with a man at work. There could be a loss of a job or a distancing in a relationship for you or for a man you know. The success you seek may be eluding you now, or you may be making great effort without seeing it pay off. At this time, focus on understanding your life's purpose can complement your career directives. When you have clarity on that, 
you will know what actions to undertake. Whether you're a man or a woman, the king of keys reverse might indicate a man of commerce who is stepping away from work, who is not available to you. So whether or not you're working with this guy or uh, maybe, you know, your person is a business uh, individual, um, they're just not available, okay? Um, at least that's what I'm saying. Like, this is not a week of romance, you know? And like I said before, if if there's tension, just step back. You know, uh, if they're a true twin, they will be back at some point, okay? It may not be right away, you know, and it could take years for some, you know. Um, everyone's timing and karma is different on this path. But I just feel that this is exactly what's going on. They, they think of you, but they stop themselves because they're not ready, okay? So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you again uh, for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you could do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Uh, you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And don't forget to check out my holiday teas. Um, they are on etsyteas.se.com where you can get 25% off. And or if you go to foxytees.com, you can get 20% there. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you.